now when I start drawing, I imagine that I am there, I am there on location, even when I copy my photographs. And I start usually from the middle, and I start from the point of interest. My point of interest probably will be this area. You see what I mean? Naturally tend to go to the middle. I don't know how good it is, but it's not exactly in the middle. And so I'm going to start not with the frame, but with this kind of little thing. But I, at the same time now, I try to ignore detail. I don't know how is it like kind of, you can explain it. But I'm not going to draw detail just in case. Because if I need to erase everything, what if is everything is too big or too small? Does it make sense? In this case, I'm wasting my time. So I'm going and blocking it. Just giving sort of hints of big elements. So this is stopped here. It's like big wall on the right. I might even crop it differently after all I am done. And this is going all the way. This is going all the way. And the proportion of this is just about like, like this. That's a wall. Look, going into perspective. And you need to pay attention to these angles, to these angles. And that continues, goes over here. These angles are very important. You can just sort of like kind of copy. I'll show you. In, in, actually, in reality, you put your pencil horizontally or vertically against the inclined surface and see how much inclined did really happen. So from here, we have a little bit roof sticking out, ah, chimney, okay? And then we're going into bigger element and another one repeating it. And I'm paying attention to proportion of this hole. Nothing is more important than composition, believe it or not, because it is separates prose. In a professional work, you will never see, never, almost never see a poor composition. Let me grab this, and I'm, after that only, I'm going to add my detail. As I told you, what if it's too big? What if it's too small, my painting? There is some kind of something canopy, something like overhang of the building. My friends, now let's identify thing. Uh, light comes definitely from this side, right? From the top left. Where is the shade and where is the shadow? We have to say it, say it to yourself, to yourself before you even pick up the brush. In this area, even lighter, I just put like almost like transparent water. It's still painted. I'm not worrying. It's still painted. Everything should be painted. Keep going. Even this we can paint. Ah, you can go a little bit dark already, but not much. I wouldn't recommend that. Just cover as much as you can. Remember, you don't start second stage until everything is covered, except hot spots. Does it make sense? I'm going a little darker around people. I don't, I'm not going to paint people. <coughs> people will live along. Maybe we'll just, you see? And don't cover everything. There are some kind of white spots, sparkle, like doorway. I left it a little bit around it. I'm going around this person a little bit darker. Look. Don't forget, pants could be dark. I'm going all over it. And I'm going to finish it like this. You see? And that is, remember I told you horizontal and with like this. That's what I will imply right here. Huh? 
and I will go in to leave some spots here but the roof is going to be darker though so my sky despite it is being look at this then I will dip I'm going to show you wet on wet technique I dip my darks create something darker and I see that this is probably area I want to highlight here there is a very bright area so I start painting the clouds I'm going to wet on wet with add extra maybe to just to make a point because it's remember lighten up when it dries hmm? everything lighten ups in watercolor we want it to stick so and be done with it my idea of painting now is to start my darks and without waiting go right here like this creating like I'm if you will become too accurate I usually slap myself and I'm like wake up wake up <laughs> because we tend to humans into this kind of copying stuff you have to see the big picture to see the big picture you have to squint eh? I'm going right into this connecting this stuff you see connecting this stuff there is something like this huh? And then I'm going, I'll leave it alone, going here, look at this, with slightly lighter thing. There is an, there is an uh, sort of uh, linear perspective, which I told you already, and there is an aerial, which... I'm going from the top and I'm using sort of semi-dry brush. Look at me. I put my dry brush not like this, but sideways. Look. Mm -hmm. And it creates a wonderful sort of broken, oh, here, broken feel at the edge here. Uh, look at this. And then I connect into this shade stuff. Look. Oh, Vlad, you missed the stone. I see, like, the longer you see, the, long, the more you see here. Mm -hmm. You do not care, my friends. <laughs> you see what I mean? Now, I made an eve of the roof darker because it's kind of receiving less light. And this is, I know it's shade. I, can, I cannot make it dark as dark. 
Remember, it's a shade only. It's dark, but not the darkest of them all, right? Does it make sense? Now, and then we're going to quickly, quickly, I'm going to do, because it's just a sketch, Vlad, remember? There is a tree or something, I don't know. I'm going to go into this. I avoid still people, I don't know. Are they going to be lit? Are they going to be this or that? I don't know. I, I see there is a little bit of uh, something there. Okay, some uh, flower pot, uh, this and that, and that's going to be here. I probably will go on top with this. Now, what I'm going to do now, this is wet. I want to keep it wet, so you know what, look at this, what I do. I just go in to put a lot of water in this area and make it like this, hoping it will wait for me when it will arrive from the, this side to merge them. I don't start from this edge, I put it below that edge, fill my brush in below that edge and start doing sort of this broken fill and it's too much removed you see this yeah and then you go in a little bit okay and your edge is wonderfully wonderfully soft keep going I might even leave some kind of as if I forgot here and then I'm going to grade it to dark now it's gonna be very boring if I just paint it that way same thing I'm going to grade it into darker darker all of a sudden this guy is in shade I might just start putting it in the same kind of condition him I want to do this also broke ah that's a problem uh, now we're good okay now we're good and i'm going down down then 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 here mm? this accidental spots even beautiful but i want to restore you see i run out i think the air conditioning dries it sometimes you outside it dries it so much this guy is going to get some receive some attention later here mm? This is my light. This is my cast shadow people. I can even do it now because I'm on the shadow things. I'll just attach people later. We can even now try maybe to experiment and just splash it and just give an indication it could be cobblestone work. I don't know. That's what I did right now. If it's stick, it's good. Not stick, no big deal. It's just a sketch, right? Now, I'm going up. Now I'm going to put this wonderful cast shadow. It is now that I'm going to make this overhand darker here, okay? Yes, he still care, he care, he sees detail, but it's very, very end, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to go with people, I will create like sort of number 10 brush, very pointy.
I do now. Uh, they are sort of lit. Right side could be dark. Uh, look. And this guy isn't dark, my friends. I'm making it dark, just sorry. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong, it's not dark character or anything. He just stepping out of the shadows. You see what I mean? And there is a shadow in a shadow to plant to plant him firmly here. I will do this. You see what I mean? And then I just I just checking it out, how it looks if he is dark, because remember, it's just a sketch. Oops, that was too much. Now, I'm going to fill this hungry brush with some stuff. That's a great brush. That's a great brush. I know. <laughs> You can dance with this brush. I love that. Yeah. Let me just do it. Creates some kind of illusion of um, this, of course, needs to be darker now. You see, still I am on a third stage. You can yeah. put a third, no problem. You know, yeah. on mm -hmm. top of already mm -hmm. painted uh -huh. something. Okay, so we'll make this. We'll make not too dark. I don't know. There's not many wires left in, pair, in France. They just, for some reason, now, what somebody told me, but I like it, this something, look, arch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did I say you don't have to put it? Now it's the time. It's just now it's the time. Look, if you want to do it, you can put your window mm -hmm. here. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can do something Still like, a, like, a, like another, maybe there is something like uh, something, uh, a canopy of something. Uh, there could be some kind of sticking out here. Maybe there is some wires there. Okay. Maybe there is some wires here. I don't know. Whatever. There could be some kind of like a... There could be even three. Why won't we just... I'll just show you. There could be some kind of branch in here with some kind of like, I don't know, do I need it? But I'll just show you for the sake of demonstration. <laughs> and then like this, huh? look, you see? something here here there is a tree right here look at this I'm just putting it it's still wet because I painted this cast shadow later and I'm going to focus in into this area hmm? it's a small tree there okay that detail my friends coming last oh, yeah. it comes last you don't start looking from it you finish with it you see what I mean and there is a flower pot and this just dance around this will be fine then you will be fine that's it okay enough you can say this is obnoxiously i don't like it you can soften it with this I mean, this postcard things is that's what you're probably gonna do for the next three months, right? 
and then you're going to get really good at it, and then you're going to jump into into big thing because that's what it's all about. I can even kashado. Oh, right. To practice my water, my exactly. That's always my problem. And you see, I did re re readjust, and everything looks good, right? It's kind of like light, even like diagonal, dun dun dun, and then you stop here. There is no focal point. There is focal lines in this painting. So. Yeah.